Hellions, good morning. If you place that, there will be 14 bricks on this entire thing. Wow. And then I'll throw this brick at it. Okay, well, I want to go as I want to go as tall as I can. There. How many is that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Wow. That's fifteen bricks. That's crazy. Uh, here you you can take those those four. I'll rebuild the house later. Okay. Oh no! There you go. It's gonna fall. <laughs> We're right after the intro. Oh, are we? We are. We're, okay. We're now on the other side of the intro. And we're headed to uh, LeMay's, uh, what, what is it, LeMay's Car Museum. <laughs> we're going to see lots of cars, including the Flintstones car, I think. And I had to show Phoenix who the Flintstones were today. Oh, I grew up watching that. I, uh, yeah. I, we're, babe, uh, what are you guys doing back there? <laughs> Sounds like a sniff fest. <laughs> Quinn! <laughs> <laughs> well, this is much bigger than what I expected. That's that's huge. We drive by it all the time. We drive by it up there on the freeway, but that's a big building. Phoenix, it's a big building! <laughs> been like giving us so much information additional uh, on all these cars the personal tour guide yeah. almost yeah this one folds up into there and the bottom one folds up under there wow and it's double stack white that's called the autonic eye that's what Cadillac called it talking about that yeah, thing right the in the center one, there the, the little alien looking thing and if, you're, if your bright lights are on, which are, will be the center lights, your car is coming towards you, but to pass you, if you don't push the little button on the floor to turn off the brights, that will sense the lights getting closer and it will turn them off. And then when it passes by, and turn them back on. that notices it, it, it gets dark, so it turns us back on. Wow. I thought that's what that was. Yeah. In 1959. Uh, that started in 56. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Four Mile T. They were built in, they started out in 1908. This was the first mass produced car. And um, the thing was, you can get any color you want as long as it's black. <laughs> That's what Henry Ford said. Henry Ford was um, also a very smart engineer, and he was all about not having waste. The crates that the engine were shipped in, the wooden crates, they assembled them to where, when they took the crates apart, that's what made the floor pans of the car. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And that's the hand crank, and when you crank those, you don't, you never grip it, because if it backfires, it will break your arm. Oh, so wow. So when, when you go to hand crank it, you just hit it with an open hand, because if it backfires, it will break your arm. So wow. you never actually grab onto it. You just hit it with an open palm. Wow, because all the movies, you see them grab onto that's, it. And... That's, that's wrong. That's wrong. No. <laughs> oh, man. 
of course, on that car, you get into the front door. Stephen Urkel car. Yes. Can I do that? A little, <laughs> a little uh, car here, Messerschmitt, the, the whole glass capsule opens up to the side. So you, and, it, like those you sit side by side. That's a two passenger you sit. It's almost like back. a cockpit of an airplane. That's exactly what it is because that, that company builds it. Uh, they're known for building planes, not cars. Oh. So that's why they made it look like a plane. Oh, that makes sense. Wow. The back wheels are about that, that far apart. Wow. And then these are called the coffin nose cord. Look at the hood. Oh, it looks like a coffin. And front wheel drive. Really? Front wheel drive. And electric supercharger. Wow. Home factor. Electric supercharger. But what's you cool, don't just get in it and turn the key and go. No. <laughs> but what's cool is these basically have no red line. They can just, the more steam there is, the faster it's going to go. Yeah. It, 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 will, it will get to a point where it's going to shake itself apart, I'm sure. But I'm interested to see what those tags are right there. Back about this car, the uh, the early Citroens. These cars are almost impossible to flip up. Is it like there's, a weeble wobble? There is <laughs> in the center of the chassis, in between the chassis and the body, is a spring, and there are these like these arms that go from each corner. So it has a four link system basically going to one spring. So when you, if you take a turn at high speed. The body is going to lean, but the chassis stays planted on the ground. Wow. So this thing could lean over forever and not tip over. The other uh, body tilts, the, the chassis doesn't. Wow. Yeah. Avanti, that's the uh, Studebaker. That's a fiberglass body. Ew. Yeah, I know. They're hard to work on. But it uses a, a uh, 289 V8 with three speed. And back in 63, this was a fast car the split front the split bench seats mm -hmm. I mean that was a common thing back in the 50s and 60s but they were normally a 50-50 split they could fit three three people but they were normally a 50-50 split Chrysler was smart it's a 60-40 but there was a passenger in that seat right there and someone was going to get in the door rather than them having to get out of the car and push the seat up they would move to the center so they can push the seat up and they'll move back. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought it was so that you could sit with, you know, the guy and the girl could sit there and like mom could be there and they can kick mom out because <laughs> she had her own seat. <laughs> <laughs> this car out here, 56 Continental, they were built for two years, 56 and 57. They were around $10,000 $10, new, which was outrageous for a car back then. Uh, but they were the top of the line luxury until Cadillac come out with the Cadillac Brougham in 57. Uh, which was thirteen thousand dollars but this was the most expensive up until that uh, until 57 this was the most expensive mass produced well not really this wasn't really mass produced either um most expensive american car it's a ford product but it's not a ford uh, this is when continental took uh this is when continental was its, when lincoln was, was its, it th this is not lincoln this oh. is when continental was his own brand okay and then continental turned out to be a model for lincoln you see the little snorkels on the top of the quarter panels? The snorkels? Oh yeah, in the back. The air compressor, there's an, there's an AC unit in the trunk, way, uh, kind of under the package tray. And, and there's one up, up, up here too. The AC vents are in the roof. And that's the intake for the rear uh, AC unit. Wow. Yeah. Would those still work in Washington, getting rain in them? <laughs> that's a good question, <laughs> I don't know.
This was used in the Flintstone movie. This is not a reproduction. This was actually used in the movie. This was the actual car. Yes. And one of probably many, but yes. And this one could actually drive in the movie? Yes. So you're saying this thing can actually drive? Yes. Heck. It sits on a golf cart chassis. And do you know how I know that? Because it says it right there. Alrighty, thank you LeMay, America's Car Museum. That was awesome. Did you have a good time? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's just behind Tony's, don't open the door right now. It's just Angie behind Tony's uh, truck. There's a deer. There it is, there it is. Oh wow. Look out the window behind, uh, look out the very back window, there's a deer walking down the road. Do, 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 oh, I do, see do, do, do. If you look out and look, if you look out the back one where Victor is, it's walking down the road by the old car. Good thing he doesn't know, or she doesn't know about our garden. Ooh, way. You never know, we might end up with deer problems. Oh no. I've kind of wondered. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, yeah. and then we get some venison, right? Mmm. Anyway, uh, back home, we just got through uh, eating dinner. And I'm sitting down and I'm getting a head start on editing because there is a lot of editing to get done today. Again with the hooey.